you know, the dream matchmaker of boxing right now. He said he wants to make Javante take Davis and Nia anyway fight happen. And some people are outraged. Oh, oh no, now you're, now you're too small. Shut up, bitch. People always compare Now You're Anyway to Pacquiao. Let, let Now You're Anyway be great. I think Now You're Anyway is great, but he's not Pacquiao. Pacquiao moved up eight divisions. Pacquiao would have definitely fought Tank. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? The same people that don't want a uh, 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 Tank versus, versus Now You're Anyway to happen are the same people that, that wanted Floyd to fight Triple G, 147 to 168, another 21 pounds. You see what I'm saying? And even if you say he was at, uh, Triple G at the time was at 160, 160 to 147 is still 13 pounds, which is the max differential between Tank and, 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 and now you're anyway. And, and plus, not to mention that Tank said he could get down to 130. So if he's at 130 and, and now you're anyways at Super Bantamweight, which is 122, that's an eight pound difference. You see what I'm saying? Pacquiao went through eight divisions. Me so my point is that God. if you're going to say that Pacquiao and, and, and now he is as great as is, is, is as legendary as Pacquiao, then let him be legendary and let him do that. If not, then stop with these comparisons. But you can't want to compare him to Pacquiao, but you don't want to actually have his feats compared to Pacquiao. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. The move in the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, NGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Y'all know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out, man, today. Yeah, we on the inside today because, uh, they, they, you know, we just had the tornadoes in Florida in my area specifically. And, uh, you know, they're outside cutting down trees and stuff like that, trying to get my neighbors right. So, you know, it's, it's real loud and I don't want y'all to hear all that. So we, we decided to take it inside, baby. But, uh, you know, we're also here, you know, primarily, you know, most importantly, we're here today that God bless us with to talk about the dream matchup between Javante Tank Davis and now you're in the monster anyway, right? Um, yeah, the potential dream matchup, which I don't really think is too much of a dream matchup, you know, depends on how you look at it. I'm not really interested in this fight myself because there's so many other fights along the way that I would like to see for both of them you know Tank fighting Shakur, Tank fighting Lomachenko uh, or even even Devin Haney still you know and, 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 and other for Teofimo Lopez etc and now you're anyway you know continue to move up and potentially even fight uh go to 126 and maybe fight like Bruce Shushu Carrington I would even like to see him and Juto Nakatani if Juto, Juto Nakatani could move up so there's so many fights for them in the meantime and between time but this fight is interesting to me uh because you know so Turkey Alashik you know the dream matchmaker of boxing right now he said he wants to make Javante take Davis and Daya anyway fight happen bring it into fruition if they can find a, 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 a comfortable way for both of them and some people are outraged oh oh no now you're now you're too small shut up bitch oh my God. First of all, he's called the monster. And you know what's so funny about that, man? People always compare Now You're Anyway to Pacquiao. Let, let Now You're Anyway be great. I think Now You're Anyway is great, but he's not Pacquiao. Pacquiao moved up eight divisions. Pacquiao would have definitely fought Tank. You know what I'm saying? It's so funny that the same people that say that, that Tank is too big for Now You're Anyway are the same people that, that are okay with Terrence Crawford fighting Canelo. <laughs> Oh, wow. Guess what? 147 to 168 is, is what? That's 21 pounds. You know what I'm saying? The max the max weight differential between Tank and Naya anyway, if Tank stays at 135 and Naya stays at 122, which is super bad weight, that's 13 pounds. You know what I'm saying? The same people that don't want a uh, 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 Tank versus, versus Naya anyway to happen are the same people... That, that wanted Floyd to fight Triple G, 147 to 168, another 21 pounds. You see what I'm saying? And even if you say he was at, uh, Triple G at the time was at 160, 160 to 147 is still 13 pounds, which is the max differential between Tank and, 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 and now you're anyway. And, and plus, not to mention that Tank said he could get down to 130. What I've been saying all along, Tank can make 130. Mm. So if he's at 130 and, and now you're anyways at Super Bantamweight, which is 122, that's an eight pound difference. You see what I'm saying? Pacquiao went through eight divisions. Me so my point is that God. if you're going to say that Pacquiao and, and, and now is as great as is, is, is as legendary as Pacquiao, then let him be legendary and let him do that. If not, then stop with these comparisons. But you can't want to compare him to Pacquiao, but you don't want to actually have his feats compared to Pacquiao. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Because Pacquiao would have fought Tank. In fact, Pacquiao wants to fight Tank right now today. <laughs> Pacquiao 45. Damn. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Pacquiao 45. If it wasn't for the boxing commission, Pacquiao would be fighting to take right now. It feels up to him. You see what I'm saying? It's just so funny that people want to compare Dahlia to these greats and these legends and these icons. Roy Jones fought one up, moved up to heavyweight. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 from middleweight to heavyweight is crazy. That weight disparity is crazy. So my point is, I'm not saying that I want him to fight Tank, but I think that people are saying that it, oh, it's too big is because they think that Tank will win. So all of a sudden, it, 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 it's, it's too big. But we see people, people, um, uh, fight at fight at weight disparities bigger than this, but there are weight classes for for a reason, and I do think that right now the sense that Tank is a little too big, but it's not unrealistic, especially if Tank can go move down to one thirty. But my bigger point is that stop comparing Dalia anyway Inouye to Pacquiao. Dalia Inouye is a great fighter. I think he's a, he's a great fighter. You can't be undisputed in two weight classes without being great. You know, so you can't be on power for list without being great. But Pacquiao is a legend, bro. The old, in fact, I think Pacquiao beats all of them in their prime. When I say all of them, I'm talking about from from Dalia anyway all the way to Tank. Bullshit! 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 I think I think Pacquiao beats them all in his prime. You know what I'm saying? Um, in fact, the only person I think that can beat him in his prime is the person that beat him is Floyd Mayweather. Hey. <laughs> And uh, well, well, also too, I think Juan Manuel Marquez. You got to respect that rivalry that they have. You know, they're back and forth that they went. You know, Mar Marquez could beat him too. Is another great uh, all-time legend fighter right there, Mario Marquez. But I think very few people could beat Pacquiao uh, uh, in, in his prime. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he's 45, <laughs> and he still want to fight Tank. So like I said, man, I don't think that this fight is unrealistic outside the realm of realism. I think people who say that want to protect Dalia anyway for whatever reason. Um, because they know that Tank would win. But my point is that you can't have it both ways. Like I said, I don't mind Tank not fighting Naya anyway. But it's not it's not impossible. You know what I'm saying? And and, and also if you're gonna compare Naya anyway to Pacquiao, slow down, little buddy, or or let Naya anyway, the monster, go fight Tank. Because Pacquiao for sure would have fought Tank. That's a fact, ain't it? Ain't it? All right, then. That, 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 that's the bigger point right there, you know? So you, it, it's like people that compare Dalia Inoue to Pacquiao are like, say, people that compare uh, for basketball, Anthony Edwards to Michael Jordan. Bro, just slow down. Let people be great on their own time, at their own pace, do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? But if you're going to be uh, a delusional and compare these greats, then let that great go. You cannot simultaneously say that that's outside the realm of possibility for him to fight somebody like Tank because it's not because Pacquiao would have done so if he's really, you know, the, 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 the Pacquiao reincarnate, you know, <laughs> even though Pacquiao's still alive. But yeah, man, so I, I just think people should slow down with, with these comparisons and, and, uh, um, and just let people be great, you know, or or, or let them challenge themselves and, and be like the person that you're comparing them to. Um, that's a bigger point. So I, I'm, I'm with Turkey Alashik on this, especially if they can beat at 130. Let this fight happen. But I want to see them both take care of business in their respective divisions first. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. As always, man, remember we're God. We can do anything without God. We're nothing. Y'all be easy. God bless. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.